I'm Ann Gaviola with a look at your top business headlines. Well, Shopify is reporting a large quarterly loss and an earnings miss amid news it's laying off 10% of its staff. The Canadian e-commerce platform posted a second quarter loss of more than $1.5 billion, which surprised analysts. Inflation pressures and the end of most pandemic restrictions sent shoppers back to brick-and-mortar stores. The company's guidance sent shares tumbling Wednesday. Shopify expects higher inflation to stick around, which, combined with higher interest rates, will take a bite out of consumer purchases. Shopify expects an adjusted operating loss for the second half of this year as well. And some much-needed good news for Rogers in its earnings report. It beat revenue estimates for the second quarter, getting a lift from a jump in wireless subscribers and demand for its intranet services. But Rogers extended the deadline for its $20 billion deal to buy Shaw Communications until the end of this year, as the process for regulatory approval continues. And in the wake of the massive outage earlier this month, Rogers expects customer credits to cost about $150 million this quarter. Loblaw is reporting strong second quarter profit. Now, it saw revenue grow in drugstores and discount grocery store sales, but that growth was below most analyst expectations because high inflation forced consumers to rein in discretionary spending. Now, the company says customers keep coming for the value and convenience of its various store formats and brands, including No Name and the PC Optimum program. Unpaid childcare accounted for about 15% of Canada's gross domestic product in 2015, according to a new report from Statistics Canada. Now that equates to about $284 billion. Women accounted for 60% of that unpaid work, compared to men at 40%. The research found that when Quebec implemented its low-fee childcare system back in 1997, the employment rate of women with children increased there faster than in other provinces, and it came with a $2.8 billion contribution to GDP. And those are your top business stories. For more, you can head to globalnews.ca. I'm Ann Gaviola.